Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about creating hierarchies in SAP Business Intelligence. So what are hierarchies actually? Hierarchies are a way of organizing your data. So in this picture right now in front of you, what you see here is a hierarchy which we use to organize a sales representative. So we have different hierarchy nodes. So the first node is the sales region. So for example, so for example, I have put in here three regions, which is Europe, Middle East, and Asia. And under that node, each of them have different nodes as well. So in this case, we also have sales country. So under the Middle East, we have the United Arab Emirates, UAE, Oman. Under Asia, we have Pakistan and India. And under Europe, we have Germany. So in this case, our sales representative, let's call him John Smith for now, is a German. And he's organized under the sales country Germany and under the sales region Europe. So, so let us dive into the data warehouse and workbench and see how we can model this hierarchy. So here we are at the data warehouse and workbench. I have already created a couple of info objects to, to start up. So we have the sales rep ID, the sales country, sales region, and this is the sales representative actually. This is going to be the one that comes with the hierarchy. So to create a hierarchy for the sales representative, what we have to do is first of all specify what info objects will be used in that hierarchy. So in this case, our info objects will be the sales country, the sales region, and the sales rep ID. So these are all the nodes that will show up in the hierarchy. They are also info objects. So to do that, you will right click on the info object and click on change. So on the, when you click on that, on the left, on the right hand side, you will see the properties of the info object. So this has a long description sales rep with hierarchy it's a it's an info object of type character with 20 characters of it, which is 20 characters long so here if you look on the so here we have a hierarchy tab we have to select with hierarchies to specify that our info object actually comes with hierarchies we have a button here which is called the external characteristic so this is where we will select which characteristics will show up in our hierarchy. So if you click on that, you will see that I have already added the characteristics that should show up for the hierarchy. But let's say for example, this was empty. So let's remove those. So you would need to select your info objects. On the left hand side, we have all the info objects which are present in the system. There are actually a lot of them. So for now, let us search for the info objects which we're looking for. So the first one is the sales representative ID. So the name of that is the sales RP. Click on continue. Now it has found now it has found the info object which you're looking for. So we'll click on the arrow to add it to our list. Now it's there. So we'll do the same thing for the sales country and the sales region. Click on continue. It's been found. Click on the arrow. Now for the sales region. arrow and now we're ready so we can continue so all the info objects which we need for the hierarchies namely the sales country sales region and the sales representative are now are now present in our hierarchy so the next step is actually to go and input some data which will show up in our hierarchy so we'll see that in the next video. 
but before we do that we have to save our changes so we click on check and activate so now our info object is active so the next step is actually to put in some data which will show up in our hierarchy so in the next video which I'll be making I will show you how this is done so for now thank you for listening see you in the next video